Imagine you're a politician and you support or are pushing something that's wildly unpopular amongst your constituents. What do you do? I mean, what would common sense tell you to do? It would be to back off, change your stance, and go a different way. Hell, you're there to represent the fucking people. But that's not what Republicans do. Just yesterday, in Nebraska and South Carolina, these are red states with red legislatures, they put the vote to the people about some anti-abortion, very restrictive anti-abortion bills. And you know what? In these red states, with the red legislatures, they fucking lost, because that's not what the people wanted. They put it to the people. The people told the Republicans what they want. So now what? What are they going to do? Well, I'll tell you what the Republicans are going to do. They'll do what they've been doing right along. They'll ignore their constituents. They'll ignore their people. They will double down and embrace the abortion issue. Overturning Roe v. Wade, making abortion illegal in their respective states. Well, it didn't work in Nebraska and South Carolina and many other places. You would think after this happening time after time, Republicans would say, hey, maybe we shouldn't be pushing so hard on abortion. But that's not what's happening. It's completely ridiculous. It's insane. By embracing this anti-abortion attitude, they are essentially sinking themselves in the 2024 election. How do I know that? Well, they sunk themselves by overturning Roe v. Wade leading up to the 2022 midterm elections. I mean, what the fuck? Whether you like their policies or not, if you're a Republican, do you really want people this stupid and this thick and not willing to do what you want them to do, but you still vote for them? Fucking A. That's the definition of ignorance. You've got ignorant leaders, and the people that vote these idiots in are just following their idiot leaders off the fucking ledge. These are the waning moments of the Republican Party. This is their last gasp, and it's not going well. It's soon to be over, but it's going to be a little messy up until that time. Just be prepared. Keep pushing, because we already won this motherfucking thing.